It's time to change your life with Peter's Principles. Welcome to Peter's Principles, a show dedicated to empower your life with hope. We all need hope. And in my world, hope stands for having optimum positive emotions about something that seems impossible. We also need balance. And to have balance, you need to be mentally, financially, spiritually, nutritionally, and physically yoked. See, it's all about really giving all those different elements the time and the effort so that you can live the life you truly want to live. My next guest is living proof that putting everything together truly matters. By the time I was in uh, third grade, uh, I was playing catch with my cousins, and ever since then, I always wanted to play. Explosive, exciting, you know, Miles is the type of kid, anytime he touches the football, you know, big things can happen. I always wanted to be the best, and uh, being small, I always wanted to prove people wrong. I think that's why I, uh, why I tried so hard to play football. 17-year-old Miles Poston is like many teenage boys. He wants to hit the big time and play in the NFL. I knew he was pretty special when he was young, but uh, I never knew where it was going to go. Miles would like to go to college and then possibly the NFL. And he's well on his way. Check out the box of letters he has received already from some of the nation's top schools. All want Miles to be part of their football program. I never thought this would happen. I mean, there's been a lot of letters coming in on pretty much a daily basis. Um, and uh, But he, he's deserving of everything he gets. He works very hard. Miles continues to work hard, and it shows on the field. He's not just an average teenager. He was born with raw talent. Miles is the type of kid that he wants to. If he sees something, he goes for the prize. He doesn't shoot for just being, you know, average. He wants to be the best, and I can see that. Miles has everything, the talent, the drive, the strength, and the determination. But he needed some help when it came to nutrition. He's pretty much um, kind of finicky eater. I think what has happened more than anything else is that he works out so hard now that he needs that type of energy. The diet is probably the hardest workout for me, or hardest part. Then it, it's hardest part, period. Physically, he's made great progress. Uh, the nutrition is lagging behind. So the Postons called me to help Miles get back on track with his nutrition plan. Proper nutrition is so critical, especially for high-powered football training workouts. Good balance, good balance, good balance, pushing you around, pushing you around. You can see an athlete that hasn't eaten properly that day or even that week. Uh, they are lethargic. You ask them to compete or do, or not compete, but uh, perform an exercise. One day they look phenomenal doing it, and the next day they, they can't even do the weight. Miles has the opposite problem of most people I help who want to lose weight. Miles needs to bulk up and put on some more muscle and get stronger. In order to help this aspiring football star, I followed him around for the day, starting with his daily training session. Miles works out five days a week, sometimes six. Get that balance. Good. Good one. All the way down. Two. Three. Four. Nice and controlled. A little bit deeper. Five. With Miles, we've been really designed speed, power, and agility. So our workout has everything from the cardio side, which is aerobic training, to anaerobic training and strength training. Come on, bring that knee to that chest. Come on, bring that knee to that chest. One more. You got it. No problem. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Come on. Good. Each day and each segment is going to be different. Uh, one day we're going to work upper body, uh, but do explosive lower body exercises. Second day of the week, we might do a, a high intensity lower body workout, uh, but a fast plyometric upper body workout, as well as make sure we're working on his aerobic and anaerobic system. Nice. Good job. Yep. Good. And stop. Good job. Welcome back to Peter's Principles. You know, every once in a while, I make a surprise visit, and I am to Miles' home and Kevin. And, uh, you know, it's so important. Miles is doing a great job. He's working out really hard. He wants to put on some more muscle. 
but exercise is just a very, very small part of the big picture. The other part is actually the nutrition. And do you mind uh, me going into the refrigerator? I like to go into the refrigerator because it really tells the whole story. So what we want to do is, and again, please don't hurt me, both of you. I'm just going to take some things out and bake an artery clogging fat. Now we're talking. Look at this salmon. The deeper the red, the more essential fatty omega-3 acids, which are great. Great for your heart, great for muscle building. So the salmon is a great thing. I'm looking over here, egg whites. Egg whites, one of the highest per ratio uh, on the planet of protein, which is the building block to muscle. It has no fat, no cholesterol. Uh, all the cholesterol and fat is in the yolk. So this is great. Now. I want to just check out over here. Oh, you're killing me. Now, is this yours or is this his? Okay. So, this these are things that we're going to these are things that we're going to I'm going to take with me. Last stop, I'm going to go into this cupboard here and um, again, there's a big difference between these which just have partially hydrogenated vegetable oils, uh, artery clogging fat, versus this, which is the master fuel to the engine. A great breakfast, we'll start with oatmeal. So this is a great choice. The bottom line is that if you're looking to put on some good solid muscle, not only do you wanna put that sweat equity into the health club or at your school, but you wanna make sure that you're eating four to six small meals every single day, two and a half hours between each meal. Uh, and the greatest thing is that a family that cooks and eats together, not only they're healthy, but they're happy. Look at the NFL. I would love to play in the NFL and making the NFL, that's a big plus. That's one of my goals. I see Miles NFL. He has that type of talent. I think Miles has all the potential in the world. Um, he has the potential to go as far as he wants to go. He can be the fastest, strongest guy at whatever level he decides to be. He's starting to eat better. You know, he looks better. He's he's, he's toned. Um, he, he's you know more energetic. You know, he he comes out there where he's more excited. You can see his mood uh, his mood changes. You have genetics, nutrition, and training, and everyone can train. Everyone can jump on a treadmill or go for a run. But how many people are really working on that nutrition side? I'm eating it because I have a purpose and I have a goal, and I'm, I'm not eating it for pleasure. Something as simple as eating better can change your whole lifestyle, and, and it's working for him, and if it's working for Miles, it can work for anyone. I'm very proud of him, uh, not just from a football perspective, I'm proud of him as a person. Never give up, uh, do what you have to do, and nutrition is the key. No matter how many hours you work, nutrition is the key, especially if you want to get muscle. When you get up in the morning and you race out of the house, do you still dream? Or have you given up on your dreams in your life? When I get up each morning, I say, wow, I love my life. And I know definitively on why I'm here. See, over this last half hour, I hope this show has provoked your spirit. We always say your mind, but your spirit controls your thinking. And what I like to do is challenge each and every one of you. Tomorrow, before you get up, stay still. Before you answer the door or put the television or radio on or walk your dogs, listen to, some people call it your gut, your intuition. I call it your spirit. It will never, ever lie to you. It will tell you the difference between right and wrong. It will also tell you what you're supposed to be doing on this earth and how to finish your race strong. See, my goal is for you and your entire family to seize the moment of each and every day.